Hi, Scott Machine Gun Dad. Welcome back to another episode of I've Got This Gun on the Wall. I do have this gun on the wall. This is actually um, one of two of the, these guns I have. And the reason I have two, well, first of all, they were reasonably priced at a local gun shop, is unbeknownst to me, and I didn't bring the other one to film, um, somewhere during the production, because the other one is a Mark CZ, when the Germans took over the production, they started using the FNH designation for the factory. Okay. I'm thinking, not thinking, I don't know what I was thinking that day, that FNH is FN and it's not FN Herstal. But this is a pistol model 27765, which is 32 ACP. I'm going to show you some markings here. First of all, right here is the serial number above my finger. And in here, it's hard to see. It's the Waffen mark, i.e. the German Dirty Bird, and then up here is another serial number. Okay, so, and of course here you have your CZ label, your CZ emblem on the grips. So I've shot this gun once. Um, I did shoot the other version. It has a very unique system. Uh, First of all, it's got a bottom mag release like all, all German guns. You push it, it comes out, or European guns. But the safety is kind of unique. Right here is the safety. Now, I'm going to show you, right? It's a single action gun, so it has to, the slide has to be back. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the magazine out so it doesn't lock open. Mag the hammer has to be back, right? Magazine disconnect, so you got to put a magazine in it for the hammer to. Oh, sorry for the. Uh, trigger to work. The safety is right here, and what's neat about it is, you push it down. It's on safe. You heard that click, that big audible click. Now on an American gun, on an Italian gun, even on a later German gun you would push that back up to disengage the safety. Not on this gun, there's a little button right below it, right here. You push the button in, the safety comes off. Has to be the most... Imagine you're going from say a P38 or a Luger or any Beretta or whatever and you're issued this system where you put the safety on you're afraid, you're you're startled, and you need to use this gun, and you're sitting there pushing up on this, trying to turn the safety off, when in reality you have to push that. Now, as far as shootable, this gun actually, because of the curved backstrap and the, and the up here, I have pretty big hands. Even though it doesn't stick out, I still have pinky overlap. It fits my hand pretty well because it's a 32 and it's heavy, it doesn't recoil. So it's a pretty nice shooting gun, and I'm going to show you just how nice it shoots. Well, let's go outside. Back on the range, this time with the uh, Czech Model 27. This is the late war one, the FNH marked one, which for years I thought was FN, and it turns out that's just a three designation for the factory. Give it a whirl. Pistols are so tiny. I guess not bad for 20 yards or the 32 with a tiny little barrel. I want to thank you for coming to watch another episode. I have this gun on the wall. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, seeing a piece of history being shot. I don't bring my World War II guns out often. Like, subscribe, follow me on Rumble, it would be better. Thanks.